Okay, Libra. Um, I'm going to read it from the book. It did come out reverse. So for you, the North Node, the ninth house would be in reverse. And that's what I'll read first. And then we'll read the South Node, which is your third, your, yes, your third house. Um, so we do see treasures here. And Earth is about something tangible. Um, he's waking from his slumber. He's coming out of his cave. Um, so let me read it the way it came out in reverse. And that's the eclipse energies for you. So uh, the key words for the Earth dragon is power, potential and riches. So the reverse meaning perhaps somehow you are relating to your inner reserves and potentials in an uh, inappropriate way. Um, the earth dragon guards the treasures of your soul fiercely, but he is your ally, but he is your ally, not your enemy. Do not try to kill him and do not try to wrest the treasure from him, or I suppose it should be wrestle the treasure from him. You may need to spend time befriending this creature who has slumbered in your soul for so long. A precipitous precipitous attempt to capitalize on your talents or express your potential may be unwise. The other end of it, um, meaning um, where the south node is, your, your ninth house, sorry, your third house, you have the eclipse in your ninth house. Um, so both these energies are in play. Um, the Earth Dragon brings us face to face with our potential. Within us we have a treasure house of riches, of powers and capacities, which we can learn how to use. In the past we may have been denied access by the guardian of this treasure, but now we are coming to understand that the sometimes fierce guardian is in reality an aspect of ourselves. By becoming by coming to know and love the earth dragon, we will be able to unlock the secrets of our heart and at the same time we will find ourselves discovering the beauty and the power that lie within the hearts of those around us and in the very earth itself. Very tangible earthy energy. Very beautiful. So Libra, it is a general reading as I always say. Put it in the situation that you find yourself in and see how that resonates for you. Um, so we have eight cards. We were supposed to have seven. Okay, so Libra, we start off here with uh, the star card. And the star is about, it's a major arcana. It's card number 17 and 8. It is a powerful number. But it's about choices that you had to make individually yourself. You had to hitch a dream on a star. You had to look to the stars for guidance. She has that intuition. She followed the star. She followed her guide and she had to mix fire and water together in a vulnerable state on her knees and let go of all that didn't serve her. She had to just let go and have the faith, the hope and the belief that she was doing the right things and that the star, the hope that she hitched on that star would come through. And uh, that's the beginning of the month saying that that is on its way. That is what is being eclipsed into your life with the North Node. Another major arcana, Wheel of Fortune, that things are turning for you for the better. The end of a cycle, 10. It's a new beginning and a closure of a cycle. Something that was pinned to this wheel is now gone full circle. Um, something has done its round. Um, something has closed, it's finished, it's done, it's dusted and life will be better. Uh, we all have our turn to be at the bottom of the wheel and the four cardinal signs have definitely had a turn to be at the bottom of the wheel. Um, but it's turning, there's a change, there's a turn for the better. Improvement in finances, in relationships, in health. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is the end of something because the star is also about health. Um, when we're having a difficult time, our health does take a, a, a difficulty. It is Aquarius as well. So if you have a planet possibly in Aquarius, Saturn is the ruler of Aquarius, or whatever natal planet you have there, there might be something significant in that. Aquarius also is 
the middle of December to the middle of no um, I just want to check the actual dates for Aquarius um, sorry yes um, from the middle of January sorry 20th of January to uh, the 18th of February is Aquarius time so whatever the wheel is brought in here whatever is being eclipsed into your life there should be some significant change coming through around about that time um, let me know if that resonates for you. Um, and then, of course, the Wheel of Fortune is the 10th. Uh, 10, 10th. Uh, possibly these energies have been felt through uh, these months. Then we have, from October onwards, possibly there's a... Because this is the past as well as a month of November so changes from this these dates um, I don't know my spirit keeps putting that in my head but um, for this month maybe the 10th maybe the 17th of November might mean a lot to you um, for changes to come through as well because it says six of swords that is moving away from conflict moving away from something that has been with you for a long time six swords sixes are karmic they deal with the past sword is conflict litigation intellect uh it's your energy and doing it on your own she she's holding this i don't know what you would call that sort of a uh, a stick to sort of push herself forward she's doing it on her own moving forward to calmer waters you could be moving as well you could be traveling although i doubt that with our COVID. Um, but there's a forward form of forward movement using your intuition with the mood in moon and being in your truth she is clothed in white and blue in her truth turned her back on the past to move forward and only looking towards the future seven of wands is the middle of the month and message from spirit that you've defended yourself you've had to say so far no further you've been on higher grounds and had a lot of opinions around you that have been quite fiery and forceful it's wands uh, and you had your back against the door but the door is now open the starry sky is there the stars are there um, and you've de successfully defended your door and your choices that were made were to stand firm and you've done it with gusto it was a decision that was made a seven a sacred decision to stand up for yourself to defend yourself regardless of what was in front of you and then what you weren't aware of is uh, eight of pentacles um, is that you were working very hard or that you are this is towards the end of the month now towards a, a future working very hard in your workplace it is the, the the place of work eight of pentacles he's burning the midnight oil we see here he's busy perfecting his skill he's putting all his time and energy to something tangible to make something secure he has caught something in his web the spider is there but while he's working so hard something is lost we have the mouse here that's the sad thing about working very hard. There's always a sacrifice of something else. No time for yourself. Sacrifice that affects your health possibly. Um, because you are working on building something tangible. Uh, but life is that way. And, and we have to make choices and move in the direction that we need to go. And with these three candles, there's some expansion there. Uh, a light that you're moving towards and um, but definitely uh, working towards something stable in your workplace or with your finances or with security our next card six of pentacles is again wanting a balance wanting what is owed to you wanting um, something that is fair 
Uh, and if we look at this deck, we see um, he's giving from his own ex excess. That those scales are so full of pentacles that these are falling out. He's not giving from emptiness where he's absolutely exhausted. He's giving from his excess. So his generosity, what he has in excess, he's able to share. Um, and that is the challenge here, to actually be able to give from your excess. Maybe you're exhausted from overworking. Um, but it does give you um, excess in a tangible way. And um, working towards that reciprocity, generosity, fairness, equal give and take. If you put so much time in, you will get back in value. Um, in yeah, you're not the beggar. It's falling it's falling out of the scales. What is fair, what is balanced. That's your sign, Libra, what is balanced. And then um Annex card here, which is the two together here, is a choice that needs to be made with regards to a king of wands. Now, this could be a person in your life or um, it could be your own energy. But this is a choice that is made with regards to work, fire or relationship because wands is fire. Relationships, wands just reach up. It's fire energy. But it's a choice, something that you're stuck on, something that is difficult to make the choice. Um, but you need to make it. Something has to be sacrificed again to make this choice. And either way is difficult. Um, but it's been creeping along. It's been coming. Uh, yeah, we have the RV. Something that has slowly been creeping there and building up and the choice is to finally be made. And what is the choice? It could be with this King of Wands. It could be about um, a person. It is a general reading. If it is, it would be one of the fire signs. Um, and the fire signs would be a Aries, a um, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or it could be your own energies making changes um, on the outside. Um, because kings make changes that are outside. The queens are more internal, uh, making a choice, a decision with fiery passion, getting up and doing it, getting your hands dirty, going for it, burning away at what you need to do. He doesn't just sit there. He gets up and he does it. Um, and not in a hot-headed way. He does it with passion. Um, so getting up and doing something with a lot of passion to make changes about a choice that was made with regards to work or a relationship. And if it is about somebody, it could be a choice about the person and what was fair about a settlement with a person. Um, but definitely a lot of positive energy there. There we go, three of wands. That from the two to the three, you see you've made your choice, you've made your change, you've made your growth from two ones to three ones. Uh, three of wands, he's standing here, he's looking out to the future, he's standing firm, he's holding on to something as a support because he's not holding that wand in his hand like we get in, in some decks. Yeah, they all three in the ground. It's done, it's dusted. There was the long road traveled. He's looking out because he knows there's something better. Kind of expectantly, but also looking for support. He's pretty rock solid here. Yeah. So this healing, this faith, this hope, this change through vulnerability, being on your knees, there's this change here. Yeah. Fiery change, passionate, moving forward. Uh, from two to three, there's growth, there's forward movement, there's sprouting, there's creative energy. Um, holding onto that tree, there's support. His foot is on a rock. And being on higher ground, the long road that was traveled to get to this point. In fact, this reminds me of planting, the, those trees are planted now. He's not holding that vision. He's done it. 
um, in this deck, they're in the soil and they're sprouting. Middle of the month. There we go. That's your energy, Libra energy. Um, and that is saying that you had a goal and an intention and you went for it. You defended yourself. Um, you came with clarity and understanding. It could have been a little bit chaotic, but you went in for it. Uh, you wanted truth. You wanted clarity. Uh, you came in with your sword, ready to defend it. Um, and this horse is towards this past. You defended your past and he has your future. The dragon woke. The dra sleeping dragon woke. And it was about your finances, about your security. And um, the end, yeah. The, oh, I'm not going to take that. It is beautiful. The sun card was just too much. I battle with these cards. They're quite big for my hand. The spirit, what one card, please, just for the end. Yeah, and there we have it. Seven of Cups. You had to make a decision or a choice here, and it wasn't easy to make. Sacred number. We have six cups here, something to do with the past. Um, where those cups are actually drowned, they're below the surface. They're done. Something is finished. He has one cup here that is full now. Something new, a new opportunity that presents itself. And you did it passionately, but you're still looking towards the past, but I do see that the eyes are closed here. Closing your eyes towards the past, what is done, what is below the surface, emotions that are, they're done. They're done for something new. And it was a huge choice, a huge uh, difference, and now relaxing in it, because yeah, it's almost a relaxed resting phase now to relax yep there we go prince of wands there's the new beginning rushing forward with that fiery passion towards something new that is coming in fast um the golden intention normally of the prince of wands with fire would normally be a relationship a project a uh, um, possibly a work situation um, but moving with passion, there's the red, there's the red, passion. Passion and truth, that's what you're working with. Um, with higher beliefs that come in with eclipse for you in that house of higher, your, your attitude towards the future, Libra, has changed to such a significant effect. Your spiritual belief system has changed, your morals and ethics, there's expansion and, and change with that. Um, Eight of Cups, absolutely. I just, there we go. I'm going to leave it at that, Libra. This is just such an overwhelming reading. Beautiful, though, um, with your passion that you've moved through. And here we have Eight of Cups. You've walked away from something emotional. The cups were empty. There was so much love that was given. So much. Um, and I'm getting the goosebumps here. It just poured down, it gushed down this waterfall. You gave and you gave and you gave and all you did was climb. But you've left it now. There's no need for it. You've moved on. Uh, you There's the blue and the red again. Turned your back on it. Used your intuition. And uh, it definitely could have been something emotional. And took the road less traveled. The choice was made to, uh, even though it was an uphill road, you took the road less traveled um, to get between that. 